You know our first guest tonight from his work on Saturday Night Live, where he serves as a head writer as well as co-anchor Weekend Update. He stars in Tom and Jerry the Movie, which premieres in theaters and on HBO Max on Friday. Please welcome back to the show our very good friend, Colin Jost. How are you, buddy? Great. How are you? Good. It's so wonderful to see you. Um, I, I started believe... waving. When you introduced Vergov, I, I started rave, waving. Just I was like, maybe he thinks I'm pretty good at drumming. <laughs> I was like, Let's see where this goes. Yeah. You're, you're, uh, a lot of people have said uh, you're a 16-year-old drummer who's taken the world by storm. Yeah, I was like, well, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. I know I read as late teens, but... <laughs> um, you guys are doing your fifth show in a row. I believe your last run was six shows in a row. Uh, that is a very punishing schedule. Obviously, a lot of it is uh, necessitated by the times we're living through, but are you, you must be exhausted. Yeah, mentally, I think a lot of us are, are <laughs> a breaking point. But it's very hard. It's extremely hard to complain when you work at a comedy show. <laughs> to be like, we worked five weeks in a row. <laughs> you know, to any, you understand, but to any sort of, um, you know, normal functioning human, they're like, yeah. uh-huh. You know, you can't, like, you complain it like my parents. I'm like, yeah, mom, you don't, you can't believe it. <laughs> we're working five weeks in a row. And she's like... Yeah, I've worked um, uh, just in like hospitals for like you know, six years straight without a week off. So yeah, no, it's, that must be tough. And you're like, yeah, okay, that's harder. That does make sense because I've been trying to get people to uh, bang pots and pans at the end of each SNL just to like reward you guys. <laughs> and it hasn't taken off. In no, the same way. nobody, uh, nobody wants to uh, to engage with that. But I will say, um, and I think in a tradition, if you were thinking of it as booing and they're booing along, you might get some people to join. <laughs> you know, certain weeks you might. Some people to join in. I, uh, some no, people not said they would way. like to come out uh, on their balconies and just scream how it was better in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. They didn't do enough with the host. <laughs> Cast is great. Writers are terrible. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. They just um, yell that. <laughs> but, I mean, a very uh, real cost of this, and obviously, again, this is the right choice based on safety, but... You know, whether the SNL was good or bad, the nicest part of the way the week was structured is at the end of the show, you went out with everybody. And uh, it could either lift your mood or if your mood was great, it would elevate it. So how weird is it when the shows are over that everybody just kind of dissipates? It's very strange. I mean, the first part is there's no energy backstage. So when you get off if you felt like things went great or they, you felt they went horribly, either way, there's nothing. When you, you walk into like a wall of silence, normally you'd see, you know, whatever. Adam Levine's there and he's like, hey, what's up, man? Good job. <laughs> or like someone's, you know, there's a llama and Abraham Lincoln from the costume before. And, you know, the Abraham Lincoln's like, got a couple notes for you. Maybe you hold your head this way or whatever, you know, things like that. <laughs> You're getting energy and this is, and you have no, uh, you, you have nothing. And then there's no, Normally, you would you would sort of decompress with your friends after the show, you know, like your fellow castmates, the writers. You talk about how things went, and um, and then you you you're operating this weird vacuum, and you have none of the release and none of the social part of the show. Um, and there's no. It must be so weird to start this year, like new people that started, because there's no like going out for a drink after the table read and learning about why things aren't getting in the show or not getting in the show or that you, you it's everyone's living in their own weird vacuum and when you see people with masks on you never want to talk to anyone with a mask on you're just like yeah all right whatever it, it, it feels like you're you're greeting someone in a hospital it's so true about new people because i remember when i started one of my first reactions was huh so there's no cocaine anymore and now for them it must be so there's not even beer <laughs> Yeah, you're allowed one soft drink after the show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you really do, like, truly, like, we'll have a drink, we'll have, like, one beer in a hallway where you're shouting down the hallway to, to a fellow cast member. And that's like, the, that's, like, the closest we've had to a party. Uh, sounds great. So this is the year to sign up, guys. <laughs> if you're looking to join, sign up. Um, I'm really you, uh... selling it. Uh, obviously, and it's a dream job. <laughs> uh, Everyone's uh, about on the verge of a mental breakdown, and you can't drink anymore at work. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we did, um, you know, we obviously, uh, to be in the building, uh, 
you know, you and I uh, get tested every day, and we took advantage yeah. of that. I, I'm, I'm happy to say that two weeks ago, uh, after my show, I just hung out in my office, and then you came down to my office, and we got uh, super hammered and watched YouTube videos together. Yeah, it was pretty fun. You ordered us cheeseburgers, uh, and we ate cheeseburgers on your desk like it was a table, and yep. uh, great, gr one of the greatest nights out of my life. <laughs> yeah, that's the <laughs> new Rainbow Room. Great. Oh, the, yeah. That's... The new Rainbow Room is Office Burgers and YouTube. And then we both, at the end of the, the night, we both spun around and we went, point. New York City! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was I, probably my wildest night out in New York uh, in the last six months. And, we, and I didn't leave the building. Yeah. Um, you did, uh, since the last time you were on the show, obviously, uh, as established, I've seen you, you did, uh, you did get married. Uh, Jost married. And this is... Uh, for people who couldn't tell by uh, Colin's uh, gold chain, he is from Staten Island. And... <laughs> <laughs> That's where we did the wedding and reception. Uh, cans are real. My brother did some great Photoshop work. Um, I know it looks real, but they didn't actually tie a bunch of 100-foot-long uh, cans on the back of the Staten Island ferry. I mean, they probably, it would, someone would have used it as an excuse to get bodies in the can that they needed to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> someone I grew up with would have put bodies in the cans and be like, oh, well. Um, yeah, yeah it, it's also very strange to get, it's strange to get married because part of marriage is obviously sort of entering society as a, as a couple. You know, that's like the traditional idea of marriage. So instead, it's like, just again, everything happening in a vacuum and some of our closest friends we haven't seen in a year, you know, couldn't come to the wedding. And, uh, and, you know, and we actually went through the, we went, we got engaged and then immediately went to London to film. Uh, I went to film Tom and Jerry and, and Scarlett went to film Black Widow. We'll see which one ends up being the bigger <laughs> hit. <laughs> Hard to jury's out. Colin, Colin, uh, Colin, do not put money on this. <laughs> So we left, we got engaged and basically fled town. So I didn't see anyone that summer. Then I went right back into SNL and then COVID hit. So there's been basically these two years that have been a huge moment in our lives where we haven't seen most of our friends. Wait, am I finding out now for the first time that Tom and Jerry are also British actors who are doing American accents this whole time? <laughs> yes, that's the big scoop. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it, it it's we we just had reggae on and and hopefully we'll see. Fingers crossed, Tom and Jerry uh, join Nick Jonas this week.